hundred dollars. Go down to Hump Snog and buy a Ventnor Avenue. Damn, there goes my monopoly. You're crazy. I am not. You'll go broke if you use every last penny to buy property. No, oh, pennies are monopoly, stupid. I don't like that word. You mean monopoly? You know the word I mean, though. I might change. Well, we're not mind readers, Mother. What do you know about mind reading? Nothing. You know the word I mean. Well, you move. I don't have to spell it out for you. You're not the only one here, you know. Six. I can do that. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> well, now you can fix up your property even more than it is. <laughs> My property. That funny joke. They'd love to get their hands on my property. Thought they could. Don't talk like that, Mom. Is there any utilities left? Hey, you want to play or not? Well? It's your role, Mom. At least I didn't land on luxury tax. Broad daylight, and there are lights on all over the place. Why not? I'm the one who pays the electric bills. Sure, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't think else cares. I don't think you can avoid a landing on my property. Yeah, well, I ain't planning to pay you anything more, right? You'll pay what you owe. Snake eyes. One, two, ha <laughs> ha, chance. Rich uncle dies and her two hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm still the banker. Yeah, well, I thought you were out. Well, come on, you got doubles. Roll again. Oh, crap. Oh, no. That would be four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, well, uh, I'll pay when I go past go. You've got to pay the whole thing now. And you roll double, so roll again. Boardwalk. Mm -hmm. That's mine. <sighs> Clean it up, Mom. Well, I guess I have to be lucky at something. My newspaper. I'd like to read it in peace. Well, there's a Clint Eastwood film playing at the Queen's Plaza, but you're not going to help around the house this weekend either. You're just going to drag those kids off to a movie again. At least pay me the rent you owe me. It's the middle of the month. Well, that's tough. I can't pay it. Well, you're not leaving this house until you do. If you think that you're going to lock a grown person in a room, you got to be crazy. I'm not the crazy one in this family. Oh, no? What did you say to me? Now, you get something straight. This is my house. I live here. And you've got to learn to cooperate. Mom's been fine all spring, really. But she's had three nervous breakdowns since Diane was born, and she had to be put away. But she's doing okay now. You know, her skin's cleared up. She can remember everything. It's not my fault if you can't manage your money properly. Please, give it to me. I don't have it. I don't believe you. She's even held a job for almost six months now. Give me that! You keep your filthy hands off that! 
Sometimes it's like being on a merry-go-round. The mom keeps reaching out. She's always sure the next time around she's going to get the brass ring. What are you hiding? Elaine, is that your medicine? What's in my purse is my affair. Haven't you been taking your pills? Pills? Elaine, don't play games with me. Tell me if you've been taking your pills. I don't have to tell you. Do we have to go through this again? Please. If I didn't hide everything, you'd take every nickel I have. Let's, let's just try to calm down. It's mine. I earned it. I did it myself. Let's try Don't to Don't touch me. Keep away from me.
Watch out, kids. Get out of the way. Mother's run away from Grandma, all the way to a place in New Hampshire called Lunar Lake. <laughs> Grandma may be worried, but Mom sure isn't. I really can't believe it. I need a hammer. What kind? Hammer. Okay. There are lots of hammers here. I'm sure you can find one that you might like. Which one would you like? Cheapest will be fine. We're just going to pound in a few tent stakes. Oh, and I need a well. We have property out by the lake. Artesian? I beg your pardon? You want a well with a pump on artesian? Cheapest will be okay. How about this one right here? It's not awfully big. Well, I think it'll serve its purpose a bit. It's got a big. Okay. Oh, and I need a latrine. I suggest you buy this and dig the latrine yourself. All you need is a hole and two footprints, and this will come in handy when you bury your garbage. Now, about the well. We'll dig that for you. Oh, good. But I'll have to show you where, and, and I don't have a car. Oh, Mom, what kind of tent are we getting? Uh, we need a tent. Mother! 
We found our own hideaway. And the first night, sure enough, the moon came out over Lunar Lake. Nature walks meant hiking into town to do laundry and buy groceries. And we became very fond of the public library. Sometimes I could kill Ron. He always talks like that when he's scared. I mean, Mom's been doing okay. I guess where we are anyway. Mom, I'm gonna swim. No swimming without a lifeguard. That's ridiculous. How many people do you know that live by lakes and don't go swimming? Go to your room, Ron. 
freak. Someday we'll have a lifeguard and our own boat right in front of our house. You don't even have a job. Don't get a job. Oh, smell that air. We're starting over right here near this beautiful lake and our own wonderful property. This land is ours. Ever and ever. I promise you. Dear Grandma, we're all okay here at Camp Lunar Lake. Please don't tell Mom that I wrote you. You know, Mom, comics are a good investment. A Marvel Comics number one's worth sixteen thousand dollars. Wish I had one. First of all, Bill character. Hi, I brought you Sunday dinner. Pot roast and apple pie. You're not allowed to speak to any of us. Come on outside, kids, and we'll set up a picnic. It's probably poison. My kids aren't having any. I think they will. Come on, kids. Nobody wants you here. I don't believe that. Well, it's true. Leave. You are not wanted here. Get it? Now, nobody needs you. The kids don't need you. We do not want you here. I'm going to call yes. the police. Oh, oh, yes. I'm sure you have a princess telephone. Now, come on, kids. Come you on, get me back. Come on, Ron. Elaine, what are you going to do? Just you can't stop. handle this. You can't handle stop this. Up. You're going to run out of money. The kids have to go to school. Stop it. It's going to be the same old story. We've been stop through it. this before. Just stop you it. You can't expect your here. kids to take care alone. of you. Elaine, please. Well, anybody who wants to come home with me is welcome. But I'm leaving right now. Well, I hope you've learned your lesson. You can't touch me here. My father's spirit lives in that lake, and I know you're afraid of his power. I don't think writing grandma was such a great idea. Staying down at the lake for the summer. Yeah, it's nice around there. Yeah, it's really nice. Especially compared to New York in the summer. You live in New York? Yep. The Big Apple. And you come from Brooklyn? I do, yeah. 
I had come from Granza. My father's cable company that he works for moved here about a year ago. What's your name? Merle. Where's Merle, anyway? I gotta go. Um, bye. Will I ever see you again? Um, uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm thinking of renting a place in town this fall. Is that so? Nothing too expensive. Your Claverly place is for rent. Claverly place? Yeah, between Boardwalk and Park Place. Of course, it ain't furnished. Well, that's no problem. We have furniture. Do that again, honey, and I'm going to take your head off. Does that once more, I'll take his head off. about two minutes to move in and two days to decide where to put a cot, two lawn chairs, and a nice chest. But it was fun. going to be in school, I'll be free to go look for work. Not too many people know double-entry bookkeeping. No. Um, hand me my purse, will you, Merle? Okay, 
Oh, damn. What's wrong? Well, look at that. The strap's broken. <laughs> What were you guys laughing at? <laughs> I've been walking for two months. I was just doing Grandma had your little laugh, shall we say? Don't uh, you think that's funny, too? You get the stupid thing to fix. Thanks for the advice, Ron. Advice is free, after all. Cut it out. What do you want me to say, Ma? Oh, that's all right. Go ahead and laugh at your mother. I don't care. The little shoe store fixes purses, I think. I like it here, Myrtle. My name is Merle. Okay. M. E. R. L. E. Merle. Well, I hope you'll be happy here. Well, it's not New York, but we're friendly. Mm-hmm. I've, uh, I've never been to, to New York. I've been to Los Angeles. You know, what's it like, rural? You want to know what New York is like? Uh, no. Now, your homeroom now is uh, 202. And uh, your advisor is Miss Finnegan. Uh -huh. now, we're all here to help you. You just let me know if there's ever anything that I can do for you. All right. Don't wait. Yeah. Sure. Let me help you. Thank oh. you. <laughs> I'm going now because I don't know how to roller skate. <laughs> you can fake it. Be there Friday night, 7.30 at the pavilion. I don't even have skates. 
Everybody's going to rent. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right. He told Jane that he liked you, and Darlene was sitting right there. Really? Oh, I thought Ricky was going with Darlene. Well, where have you been all summer? Come on, you guys. Well, I think I'm really gonna like it here. She couldn't remember a single <laughs> one. And so we started to call her no name. We got a letter from Grandma. Mm -hmm. It was registered, but he let me sign for one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She says she's worried about us, and she wonders why we haven't made any contact with her. She has an envelope for each of us at the stand. I think they're here. Here we go. And... There's a dime in each one of them in case we want to call her collect. Let's it. Hello? Maybe we should call her. Good idea. I want to see you. Rebecca. I'm home. in the horses. We can make all kinds of things out of it. Like, um, well, like meatloaf and, and cookies and, oh, probably even muffins. And oatmeal mache boots come winter time. I got my own office. Oh, it's tiny. It's a little cubicle. Doesn't have any windows. It's all mine. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm working. I'm earning money. Hey, how you doing? Not too good. I can't find my notes of the history class. Oh, damn it. All right. Sorry. You used to live in Upper the Lake? Yeah. Here they are. I got them. All right. So, test me on the bottom half questions right over here. <clears throat> all right. In the early 1700s, almost all the work in the world was done by human hands. A, yes, B, no, C, maybe. Um, Bay? Hmm. No, actually, no. <laughs> the National Road ran between Maryland and Ohio, A.S. B. No, C. Navy. Bay. Right. Would you like to go to the skating party with me Friday night? Eh. Hey. Can you see that I have a pimple on my nose? No, no, no. Are you sure? Positive. Are you sure you don't have a date tonight? No. Hey, can I borrow your uh, eyeliner? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. You know, two of the kids in my class sometimes wear high-heeled shoes. Yeah. I think you'll have a date tonight. Well, I don't. You ready? I'll walk you to school. Whose mother walks them to school? I have to get downtown anyway. I'll buy you a Coke. No, thanks. What's the matter? Don't I look okay? You look fine.
his own escape. I haven't even been game before in my entire life. I don't have an eight either. But give me a nine. I'm gonna kill myself, I know it. Yeah, I can see it now. Girl, die, skating. I'm serious. These skates are gonna be flying off my feet. I can't skate as it is anyway. This is all I've got. One side sits off. <laughs> Gorgeous skate. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself, I know it. Uh, 
Do you need help on that or something? No. <laughs> Do you think so? I think mom's okay. I know. She talked funny to me tonight. I know. The kitchen tablecloth. It caught on fire from one, one of mom's cigarettes. I found it in the trash. So what do you want me to do about it? I don't know. So? So? <laughs> So shut up and go to sleep.
doing it. I want to be the first to know. Shut up! Mr. Hall wants to see you. She says that, uh, that she wrote you. Uh-huh. And you didn't answer. No, I didn't. You didn't answer. Well, um, well, why not? I don't know. Look, I don't want to butt in or interfere. Well, you, uh, call me in to talk about the weather? No. Well, she says that, uh, Well, your mother's having some problems. She doesn't have any problems. Mom's treating you okay? Yeah, she's treating us fine. You getting enough to eat? Yeah, I'm fine to eat. Is she working? Yeah, she's got a good job as a double entry bookkeeper at Perilous. Oh? Mm-hmm. Oh. Would you do something for me, Emma? Would you write to your grandmother and would you tell her how you're doing? Yeah, sure. Um, can I go now? Look, if ever you need to talk to me about anything, my office door is always open to you. And you remember that. I hope you like my mother. She's nice, but she's still a mother. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> she's a terrible cook, so if she offers you any food, you're allowed to say no. Honey, why don't you pass these Rice Krispie bars tomorrow? Thanks. Pass a note, please. Ma, are you sure you made this recipe right? These things look kind of weird. You're terrible. How are you enjoying our little town, Merle? It's, it's nice. It's different from New York, but we're doing all right. I'm sure. My mother's working for the Peelers Feeding Grain Company. Hi. She's doing bookkeeping. Who ate my carrot juice? Not me. I'm afraid I did. Oh, Oscar, how could you? Oscar, have you met Merle? Of course. Hello, Merle. How's the tent holding up? Oh, really well. Good, fine. I'll see you kids later. Nice seeing you again, Merle. Bye bye. Do you sew, Merle? A little bit. Honey, why don't you show Merle the best we've been working on? Hmm? Mary's crocheting now, doing real good. You want a Rice Krispie bar, Jean? This stuff is pure sugar. Do you know how many calories one Rice Krispie bar has? I mean, we're talking major junk food. A simple no thank you would do it, Jane. Let's see it. We've got to fix the arm. Put it on. I'd love to teach you how to crochet, Merle. It's easy. If Mary can do it, anybody can. But she's going to be an antique before she finishes this. I'll be too big for it when it's done anyway. If I were you, I'd be thinking about getting smaller, not bigger. I was just thinking about my bust. What bust? <laughs> how old are your brothers and sisters, Merle? They're fun. She said, how old are they? Oh. They're nine and eleven. So you're the big sister? Yeah. Can Merle stay over for dinner, Mom? If it's all right with her mom. Oh, it's not. I have to go home and wash the dishes. Well, can't you phone home? Um, no. We don't have a telephone. You don't have a telephone? Believe it or not, Mary, there are some people who do fine without a telephone. I'll get you girls some more milk.
I'm coming to answer soon. Um, you might not even want to go, but I just want to go. Well, well, well. Hello, you two. I'm so excited. I get to be one of the first junior princesses ever in the homecoming parade. That's great. Oh, I even get to ride one of the floats. Wonderful. I'll be wearing pastels. <laughs> Bill likes me in pastels. He says it lights up my face. Bill's playing? I heard he was benched. Benched? He's one of the best football players on the whole team. He certainly won't be benched for the homecoming game. So why did he get benched? Well, <laughs> we went to those parties and... He got drunk and called the coach. It was funny. You should have been there. Oh, I'm sorry. You're still in junior high school. Oh, if I see you, uh, I'll wave to you from my float. Marilyn, and I will wave, too. I'm taking her to the dance. It's all right with her. How nice. Well, got to run. Bye. Bye. I was looking for Mr. Norton. I guess he's not here. All my life I've dreamed of someone I could love and lean upon it. Could he be the one? Is he the friend I've always needed? The smiling face that's glad to see me. Could he be the one? feeling imagined or real my heart's aching just to know So me and Mary are going to meet you no, at the gym. No, pick me up. What? No, you can't pick me up. I, I mean... 8 o'clock, pick, pick me up. It's the homecoming dance. <laughs> but it's I'm so far to walk. It doesn't matter. You're my date for the homecoming dance. 8 o'clock. <laughs> so you're going to pick me up. Pick you up. At 8 o'clock. <laughs> 8 o'clock. At my house. At your house. So what do you want to do today? Uh, I want to rob a bank. We could, uh, buy some Lego and play with those. <laughs> So why don't we walk out and see our property? You know, look at the land. Yeah, we can visit our five rooms. We don't have any property. Uh, Mom, where we lived all summer, you know, tent, latrine, pump. You mean you lost the land, Mom? I didn't lose anything. They took it. They took my job. They took the property. They took it. You lost your job? You mean you really lost your job, Mom? No. Ooh. Yeah. This really stinks. Yeah, so now she always manages to wreck everything. No, she doesn't. Oh, no, and you do rules only. She promised. Ah, uh, big deal, she promised. She really promised. 
to the roof. And besides, what promise does she have a kept? It's not her fault she can't keep a promise. I mean, she doesn't do it on purpose. Just something she does. But she promised. Oh, well. I was going to smoke a cigarette, if you don't mind. Who's Ricky? You know, the boy who's taking me to dance, remember? I remember. Of course I remember. Has anybody been telling you I don't remember, is that it? No, no. I remember. Merle. Yeah? There are certain rules about boys in this house. I hope I've made them clear to you. Yeah, well, I'll be good. You'd be good, too. All right? I like your house. You want it? It's yours. Shut up, Bob. You lived in Queens? See you later. Nice meeting you. Bye. Uh, I got your white. I figured it would go with anything. Thanks. Your mother's very nice. Yes. Yeah. She smokes a lot. Look at the stars? Sometimes. Why not? Is 
that the Big Dipper over there? No, that's not it. That's it over there. And what's that? I don't know. No, that's the Milky Way. That's the Big Dipper. No, the Milky Way is a long band. That's the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is a pot. The Milky Way is a long band. I don't know what that is over there, though. Sometimes when I'm depressed, I look at the stars and think of all the little people on the stars. Little people? Yeah. And each star is a world. And we're one star. And so there's so many worlds. You know how tiny we really must be? Come on, darling, let me explain. Darling, just get away. Please, let me explain. Get away from me. Here, you want to have some of my mother's punch? Yeah. Oh, you like it? It's awful. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, how are you? Hi. Uh, I'm here. The dress is really nice. Thank you. Here, try some of the punch my mother made. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like it? Oh, it is. It needs something. Matcha. Or something. I have to tell them not to make any more. Uh, Come on. Yes. <laughs> All my life I've dreamed someone I could love and lean upon it. Girl, could he I know all about the boys. Small town boys are no different. I've always needed a smiling face is glad to see. Let's be very careful. Could he be the one? Is this magic feeling imagined or real? Does he, does he want me? Not just for now, but for the rest of my life. All my life I've dreamed of someone I could love and lean upon. Merle, you see Miss Eck uh, anywhere at the time here at the punch ball? I always said that that guy had a big empty space where his brain used to be. Shut up, you don't have to be mean. The guy's a joke, Dar. I know that, Ricardo. So then why do you hang out with him? I'm just trying to make you jealous, you big idiot.
Whatever it is, if there's something you need to talk about, it's okay. Honey, what's wrong? Are you sick? Has something happened to you and you want to tell me about it? I'm a great listener. My mother's going crazy. Oh. <laughs> Mary probably says the same thing about me. No. She's having a nervous breakdown. I mean, she thinks people are hiding in the house. She's had one before, but my grandmother was there to help us out. Who is she? Where's your brother? Where's your sister? Uh huh. I mean, she's not hurting anybody or anything, but it's going crazy, and she just won't stop. Do you think we ought to call a doctor? She'll kill me. I mean, when my grandmother called the ambulance, she didn't talk to her for three years. No, they still don't really talk much. But don't you think we need to do something? Yeah. I guess this must be about the worst night in your life. Well, um, let's go into the kitchen and make a few telephone calls. Hello, Grandma. It's me. I'm calling from a neighbor's house. Yes. Yeah, I think you'd better do that. No crime! No crime! 
Carlson here? Yeah, that's me. I have some papers I need for you to sign. My grandmother will sign them. She'll be here in a Could I have a pen, please? Get you some breakfast just as soon as I can. Your rooms are all ready. A lot, a lot of your friends have been calling. I, I had all your clothes cleaned. She had a good job, Grandma. She was doing just fine. She, she was a double entry bookkeeper, one of the best. Uh, the Weavers had a, had a new baby. They want you to babysit. Is it a girl? Oh, another boy, Mark. <laughs> There's a stack of mail for you from the Fruit of the Month Club. <laughs> How'd they get your name? Wouldn't take her medicine. There isn't anything anyone can do if she won't take her pills. That's about it. I got my things.